My hope is always for people to just understand um, not only the LGBTQ community, but also foreign pride. You know, we're, we're here and I think this is an exciting year for us to have our 25th anniversary and to be able to share our history, to be able to share our story and in this way that we could get out um, in the community and, and tell people like, hey, this is what we stand for. It's not just this one weekend. We do things throughout the year. If it's in rainbow, it is a pride. <laughs> but there's also like, a variety like there's not there's so many different types of vendors it's kind of neat to see there's always something going on on the stage marching for what i believe in that's important to me because i feel like i have a sense of pride of who i am and being human it's going to be you know very over the top and you're going to see a lot of crazy stuff but that's the fun part of it loving amazing accepting craziness where you can go in and if you have doubts, if you're supposed to be who you feel that you are inside, Pride will 100% break those for you. grown and as we've realized like hey we need to add this we need to add this I think that you know that's been more opportunities for people to be a part of the festival in ways that maybe they're comfortable or you know increase their participation. When I started going I think the first time I went was uh, 2016 and I was like this is crazy in a good way because I uh, have never been around so many people that were just proud to be themselves. It was just very welcoming. And you could kind of feel the energy, like, you know, when you walk into somewhere and you can just feel the happiness and the good times. And it was just, it's like when you walk into your favorite restaurant and you're like, this is gonna be good because you're gonna get the same thing that you get to eat every single time. And you know that it's gonna be great. That's how it is going to Pride because that it just brings everything back. It's kind of like, this is why I enjoy it. I believe you should be a part of the parade, you know, be a part of the parade, because that's including everyone, you know, every sex, every sexuality, every, every race, gender, people who identify as, diff, as, as, a, as a whole. I guess my first Pride was last year, was yeah. 2021, and just, after coming off of having had a meeting with our pastors of our old church where we were very loud about being allies of the LGBTQ community and getting removed from our serve teams there. And I went and I was able to see the love and the acceptance that can be somewhere. And it actually basically caused us to form Unfailing Love Church. I 100% attribute pride to the full formation of our church. The very first pride I got to go to was with my stepsister who um, is the only member of my family that has been outright like, I love you, I don't care. Um, and she's actually part of the LGBT community as well. But like she was, so she was the very first person in my family that was like, I love you regardless, I'm here for you. So uh, she found out I had never been to a pride. She's like, we're going. I remember the first time I was there, they had an acoustic guitar player up there and that was really cool to see during the day. And then at night, Saturday night, the drag show. And that pride was my first drag show. I think the drag show yeah. is usually my favorite. It's just everybody being crazy for these people. Just, just going super up and, celebrating yeah, them. And it's it's fantastic, just like yeah. how loud the cheers get during the drag show. Like, it's so much fun. You're, you're packed into this tiny little area in the pavilion, and everybody loses their mind for everything. Yeah. And it's so just, the energy is amazing. Yeah. And if you haven't had a good day at that point, well, first of all, I think you're doing something wrong if you haven't <laughs> had a good day yet. but. Being there, you just instantly, you feel lifted yeah. up because you're watching people do something that not everybody can do because being a drag queen or a drag king, that's hard. Yeah. And they're just celebrated and the, the energy and the love that you feel is yeah. just, that's probably my favorite and part And they're out there giving 110% and it's Every so time. cool to just see somebody dive straight into what they love. Yeah, and last year it was pouring down rain yeah. and like and they were 90 still going degrees. At it. Like, it was awesome. It was great. It was so much fun. <laughs> For me, it's hard to choose because 
I don't get to enjoy pride, I think, the way that other people get to enjoy pride. So I get a sense of enjoyment watching other people's enjoyment. Um, that's how I've um, been able to vicariously live through a lot of people. So I think um, sometimes it's when it's done because I'm just like, you know, be able to look back on it. But there's a time that's, for me, my favorite is on Saturday night during the drag show they bring up the board of directors and we're able to go up on stage, we get announced, um, and to just be able to stand in front of people and get to look out at thousands of faces and just see like they're happy and they're having a great time. And I try to take it in a few times during the festival, just stopping and just like breathing in the moment and just taking it in and saying like, you know, we did this, we got this done. There's um, some really dedicated people um, that have put this, put forward a lot of time and effort to make this happen. I get to see thousands of faces at this event where people can be whoever they want to be and you know they're comfortable and they just can come as they are without judgment um, and it's I always say like, like one of the happiest places in Fort Wayne um, throughout the year is pride because you just see these people who have had to hide you know all year or maybe not be able to be exactly who they want to be or they get to find these you know, people that are just like them or at least part of this community that um, quite often is hidden. I'm comfortable with who I am. You know, being openly gay in a city that is conservative and people who are different than me and also experiencing my, my sexuality in the, in the city where I was born and raised in Fort Wayne. Um, it's been a life-changing experience to be proud of who I am now. Also being autistic, um, it's, it's been something that I had, was fighting for for many years to be heard in this world. Being who I am, loving myself, and appreciating all the things that I could do to make an impact in this world. Not just in Fort Wayne, but in this world, in this country and also to me being able to accept myself as bisexual, which I didn't do until last year, and I'm 30 years old. <laughs> um, growing up in the evangelical church kind of setting um, did not allow for me to even think it was acceptable. And that was the biggest thing for me was, oh, I can actually just literally be myself and that's okay. <laughs> I came out uh, two years ago as transgender, um, and for me that was kind of my big moment of like, finally feeling comfortable in who I was and I know how it feels to be uncomfortable in your own skin and uncomfortable in who you are and where you're from and I really want to be able to help others realize that there is somebody out there that's going through or feeling like you've been through or understands where you've been and that wants to listen and wants to try to help and pull you up. I actually uh, last year uh, took my sister to Pride for the first time. Uh, last year she came out as lesbian and I was like, we are going because I am so proud that at 17 you were able to, you know, be who you are. When I was able to take her, it wasn't just about uh, me being at Pride. It was about, you know, her being able to experience that and see that, you know, there's a community and there's a lot of people that are going to, you know, stand behind her. I am grateful and blessed that I've had this opportunity to be involved with Fort Wayne Pride and seeing how much growth I've had over the years with them to recognize my hard work, my efforts, and my voice to be a stable in this community in Fort Wayne to serve as a young role model for many people who are in my position who may not have a voice. A Pride Festival, or even just the LGBTQ itself, is sometimes overwhelming because we just love to love. Yeah. <laughs> um, and sometimes it can be hard to remember that not everybody is used to somebody being like, oh my gosh, you're new, that's so cool. But once you get comfortable, and if you go with somebody that is a comfort zone, or you have a fidget thing that is your comfort zone or something, once you're there, you're, you're going to find somebody to talk to. You're going to find somebody that will be your friend, and you'll feel accepted in the end, whether or not you're part of the LGBTQ. And I think that's the cool thing about LGBTQ yeah. is even allies have a space. And that's the biggest thing yeah. is everybody's accepted. Right. Everybody's got a space at Pride. Yeah. And if you walk into Pride and can't find a space, 
come find me. I'll be there. Yeah. I'll find I'll find your space for you. I'll walk with you till you find <laughs> it. Like I'm cool or with we'll that. Be the space. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'll be your space. I'm yeah. cool with that. <laughs> Pride is important because that tonight there's still someone that feels like they're better off dead than being themselves. And that sad. We try to remember that there's been a lot of, you know, stuff that's been fought for before and that pride is, yes, it's a great celebration, but it's also remembrance of everything that our community has been through and we can't forget that.